Hello Reason People, Pooh Bear here and welcome to my channel. Uh, a question came up the other day from a guy who wanted to make uh, some program changes to an external instrument and of course this was in a live situation. Um, in a normal situation you just obviously have yourself an external MIDI instrument um, and let's just quickly turn that on and of course we can change the program just as we wish. But of course in a live situation you need to do things quickly and obviously go, oh I want to get patch 10, oh well, where's patch 10, there it is, I'm nearly there, oh right I'm there, we can all start again. You know, it's not going to work in a live situation so we need to come up with a very quick solution of how we can change it. And this is what I came up for him. So, using the good old CV8 and obviously using the good old CV Select as well, obviously these three devices appear in so many of my videos, I'm going to just quickly highlight them all and combine them. And then we're just going to do a very, very quick bit of wiring. So going from the CV out into the CV in on the CV select. I'm only going to wire up a couple of them. Obviously, you can wire up all eight. And there's no reason why you couldn't wire up two banks, one changing the banks and one actually changing the, the presets. Um, let's, let's quickly, as we're at the back here, take the CV out of the CV select and go into CV1 in on the combinator and change that to unipolar. So what's nice about, say, the CV8 is we do have some labels. So you could actually come down and say, oh, this is going to be my pads. Um, this is all going to be a bass sound. And, and if you really wanted to, you could even come down and say, oh, yeah, this was patch number five on my actual controller. This was equivalent to patch number 10 on my controller. And don't forget, you can also come back down. So just because I've gone to patch 10 there, I could then say, oh, I'm going to jump back to patch one here which happens to be a, I don't know, a synth sound or whatever. And then obviously your, your changes to the, the appropriate numbers. So I'm just going to change them to whatever. Um, the next stage what we need to do is obviously we've done the wiring up. So we go up to our combinator and we're now going to take that. So we're going to highlight the EMI. We're going to take that CV input in and we're going to put that onto the program change. And it should be a simple case now that when we change here, we're going to get some changes. Nice and simple. Great. Um, one thing to point out for in a, a, a live situation is the snap option. I've actually had a couple of people query this because obviously when I'm here and I'm clicking on these, it's instantaneous. And when they're actually running it in a session, they're going, oh, I'm clicking on it and nothing's happening. Well, if I just click on play here a second, if I then click on these, you can see two lights are highlighted and it comes to this one. So it's waiting for the, for the bar to change because it's on 4.4 and also you can change that. So snap into the bar, which for a live situation could be really useful because you know you might have a, a slight pause before the bar coming so you can just sort of click on it and then you're ready to go. Um, obviously the downside is in a live situation would be quite simply if you happen to miss that beat, then your sound's not going to change to the next bar and you're in a live session, that could be a little bit messy. So maybe if you're in a live session, you might want to either turn it off or choose a, something a little bit smaller. Anyway, so let's carry on. So that's it. So that sort of works. But he's actually come back and said, ah, oh, I'd like to, say, record my live session. I want to record these changes I'm doing. And I probably want to maybe output this into a MIDI file. OK, so the issue is, is you cannot record CV. Okay, we can actually convert CV into audio and record that, and then we can take the audio and convert it back into CV. Quite straightforward. You can use a Thor to do that, and there's a, a back extensions out there will do that as well. But okay, so we can actually do that as well ourselves. So what I'm going to do now is insert another EMI. Oh, the one thing I haven't actually pointed out, obviously, on this first EMI, this is obviously going off to your actual um, hardware. Um, and in fact, I will actually set that up there. So it's actually going out to your physical hardware. Now, this EMI here, this is going to be using what I call my loopback, which is then hitting my loopback controller and actually coming back into Reason via a um, controller itself. And if you don't know how to set that up, there is videos on my website and like the beginner's guide to EMI and setting up uh, MIDI controllers and all that sort of stuff. So what I'm going to do now is instead of using uh, going via the combinator, we're going to go via my MIDI loopback. I'm just going to switch that on. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to do 
an edit remote override of this program change here. That's my, my MIDI loop back there. And, oh, I've got something jumping up, jumping around here. That's a bit naughty. So let's just try that once more. Oh yeah, that's what I wanted. So now, when we make these changes, you can still see it's happening. You can, you can see the changes are, come, are happening at the top. But the big difference is, is obviously, and uh, let's just bring up a sequence on the screen. There we go. So if really, if I hit record now, we should be able to, there we go. And we've got these recording. And you can see what I mean by the snap. So let's turn snap off a second and then we can very quickly jump from one program to another. In fact, I've got that on one, so let's whiz that right up, shall we? Hey, there we go. And it's that easy. So now I'm actually recording the program changes itself. Okay. Well, I hope you found that somewhat useful. Um, it might, or maybe you have ideas to do some other things. Thank you for watching. Bye for now.